is hit me over the head like a ton of bricks. Uh-oh. One statue at the state at the Chase Center. One. Steph Curry. That's interesting. One. I'm not mad, but I'm gonna throw something to Bobby Fitz. Is Rodman? Night. Is Rodman? No, nah, he ain't getting one. Is Pippen? Is it Jordan Pippen Rodman? No, it's Jordan. That's it. That's the only statue no, I, outside I, I the United you. Center. I got you. Steph Curry. Only statue. I wouldn't be mad if if that if that's how it goes down, but I want to bring something else up to you. And it's not Draymond, because we know he's going to the Hall. No supporting cast. Fitz the other day said okay. they got four Hall of Famers, including Iggy. Right, right. That's not I, new. I but I I is Iggy a sure shot? I think people think he's a sure shot. Yeah. I, I mean, hey, Iggy, I the know bo- all goo you hate. I'm not. I'm just, I'm asking Do you. Do I think Iggy's a Hall of Famer? Do the Philly count for Andre? No, I, don't think the, I don't think he's a Hall of Famer, yeah. but he's going to get in. Okay. All right. well, that's he's going point. to get yeah. in. You know well, why? Fitz, Fitz Everybody right gets there. in. And there you go. Everybody gets in. Uh, 650, Dre should have apologized. He's not a leader doing this crap. I've lost a lot of respect for him. Bonte Tashki keeps saying Dre's getting a shadow. Uh, okay. Um, he's getting what? A statue. Draymond. Do you think the statue conversation, at least as it pertains to Pippen, has to do with the way Scotty left and maybe how Draymond Green or Clay and all of them leave or don't leave will depend on whether they get a I statue? Think that shouldn't matter. To me, Scotty should good be enough about... to get a statue. Who? Clay and Draymond. What they can what they can contri- their contributions to these four the rings. Contrib- you don't get a you don't get a statue okay. for a contribution. You get a statue when you're a carrier. But are okay, here. Real quick, Evan, you guys can answer. They don't have the marble. The Hall of, Fame. of course. Draymond Green going to the Hall of Fame? Probably. I, I'm just saying, okay, if so you want to put, break it down, that's, okay. a, that's statue worthy. No, it's not. Hmm. Some would, dip, some would so, beg okay, to differ. Okay, so then we need one of Mullen. We need one of Hardaway. We need one of Richmond. I don't know where. I, they all are in the Hall of Fame. Okay, but I'm asking Rick you, who would, get mad at the, who would get mad at a Rick Barry statue? He was the first time why they ever got why one. Would, in the, why haven't they done it? Well, that's a different You won a story. title 45 yeah, years ago. It, but it was the first one. I'm asking you, do you think a statue of Chris Mullen would piss people off? I don't. Chris Mullen, it's like, he doesn't have, he's not going to yeah. get a statue. All I'm saying, you can't. Sorry. Steph Curry. Like, I'm just thinking of if they said a Clay Thompson statue. And you know what? If you're going to go Hall of Fame, then Iguodala's got to get a statue. And then what about Durant? What do you do with Durant? Uh, now that what Evan said about how you leave, that I think that would affect me. How he Porn, left? So, yeah, I, I, he left. He left he, on good terms. Well, he chose to leave. He, he allowed yeah. the Warriors to sign and trade for him. Yeah. He didn't have to uh, do that. Yeah, but he talked about it when he left. He didn't appreciate how he was uh, by the fans, well, not by the organization. But it still counts. You're right, but he's still. You get a statue, and you get a statue, and you well, we get know one. It doesn't work like that, but I just think Dre and. Steiny, I'm telling you, man, that line wouldn't be as long as you think of people pissed off if Clay and Dre oh, were to get I a mean, statue. And I know you get the whole goo that's fandom, but I'm like, damn, you going to the Hall of Fame like Pippen? Man. This, why doesn't Pippen have a statue? I, I, He's got six titles. Scotty Pippen won six titles that, with Jordan. That, you know he does what? not he have just, a statue. Wow, that, wow. So if Pippen doesn't have a statue in Chicago, why should Clay and Draymond have one here? But it don't work they like that. They only won four. What do you mean it don't that, work that like that? That's how it works. Of, that was, no, there is no, come on, Stani, there is no pamphlet or book on, you can do whatever you want. You can put uh, the reason, jerseys on the wall and baseball, whatever you want. Nobody polices you. But I'm just saying, Scottie Pippen has done has nothing to do with to the way he left. to get a statue. I, I think right, but he does. I think that, I totally think that has something to do with it. You can't give statues to everybody. What, Luke Longley? No. Does he get one? I, I like what about him, Bill but... Wennington? <laughs> give Bill Winning- Wennington nah, one? What about Rodman? <laughs> not Dennis Rodman. I'm st- they're not Pippins, Donnie. Would it surprise you if these players, if I told you they do not have statues? Charles Barkley? Clyde shouldn't. Drexler? Shouldn't. Patrick Ewing? Shouldn't. You know, Allen Iverson? Shouldn't. Oh, my Moses gosh. Malone? Oh. Yeah, come on. But you, the problem with Malone David is where, where would you build that statue? Fair. David Robinson, though. I, yeah. I know they left, but Gary Payton obviously no. doesn't have one. No. Isaiah Thomas? Ah. And Kareem Abdul-Jabbar just got his, I believe. Right. I'll tell and you what. The, the, on the that biggest on claim, the, biggest, the guy with the biggest claim would be Isaiah Thomas, I think. He was the best player on that multiple championship team. Not listen, no 
no coattail yeah, riders. No statues for coattail riders. You got to be the man. You get a statue if you're the man. Not an accomplice. Those are my rules. Mm-hmm. Steve Kerr get a statue? Where? <laughs> Next to Iguodala. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you got me. Yeah, thinking, next dig with Dal in like the in like an annex. They can build an annex where they have the. Uh, does Doctor J have a statue? Of course not. I don't even think Bird has a statue. And that, so that's a total fail by Boston, though. No, like, they, no, they know better than to start talking about statues because they should only be reserved for the greatest of wow. the greats. All right, let's put the rat on the table. Let's move it to jerseys in the rafters. Did you have a problem with Gasol going up? Because I love Paul Gasol, but when I saw who he was next to, Steiny, and I love Paul, I was like, ah. did that cross your mind? Or are you like, Gasol, no harm? Hey, they got it right. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's a close one. <laughs> I, think, close. I think Gasol's a close one. I love it, man. When you see those names up there, I'm like, man. But I ain't mad at you. Let's go to uh, Andrew. Andrew's in Richmond. What's going on, Andrew? How you doing, man? What's going on, y'all, man? You wonder why Scotty took another statue? Because Jordan's son's banging his wife. That's why. Okay. All right, thanks. Appreciate it. Amateur, all right. What are you doing? Yeah. Can you get him on? Tim Duncan. Of course. Yeah, right. When's that coming? Tim Duncan's the most underrated player in NBA history. No doubt. Oh, there is doubt. Well, who would be second? Oscar Robertson. Rick Barry says Oscar Robertson is the most the underrated o? player in basketball history. Come on, people. Mm-hmm. Well, Duncan was just, it was his personality. I think his game was, everybody knew what it was. You, probably, just, you probably couldn't stand his game. I love oh No, you didn't. Goodness. You oh didn't like, dude. I bet you you were like, this guy's so, <laughs> bo- he's got no, <sighs> so, he didn't. he had ha ha. Playing pool fast domino off the backboard. That t- man, Tim Duncan, was everything. And for Shaq to give him a nickname, <laughs> the big fundamental. Frank in San Jose. Hey, Frank. How are you, man? Frank, what's going on, buddy? No, Frank. Steiny, who the hell bought you that big I thought they were sweater? talking to me. <laughs> no good for a guy who's fidgety. Yeah, I, I broke this one out from a while ago. Uh, it's cold. This is like this is about five years old, and it'll be the last time I wear it. It's now. See, look, don't let that. I thought no, you were no, it's t- got, mentally it's, tough. It's got. It's got you a couple like stains it? on it. Because that one. Now I wouldn't admit that, but the one you, yesterday you had was clean. Do you, which one? With oh. the zipper. Yeah. The uh, the well, one you about thing. To say, do you? Uh, <laughs> what <laughs> you were about to say? Do you? It was like, do you ever list? Do you get it? Don't you get? No, it? I was you just were getting saying, ready to say that. No, I was getting stain. ready to say I. I really just don't like wearing something that I can see a little stain on it. And I see a little stain on my pants, too, which damn kind of bothers me a little bit. But I'll, I'll get them. through it. Warriors yeah. Memphis today, uh, 430 tip off TNT. Yeah. TNT. Charles. What Charles going to say about the dubs now? They're done. Well, he did already. <laughs> yeah, Kenny and Shaq. Shaq's a big saying the Warriors still got action. So we'll hear you that. know what? He never says anything like... Uh, He's got a hundred endorsements. I, I may say poignant. <laughs> right. I mean, Shaq doesn't really go out on a limb very much. Dude, did you see the video? And Kenny Smith never goes out well, on a limb. Well, Shaq's ruined Kenny to me. Because it used to just be the three of them. And you could get the goofiness, the silliness from Chuck, and some anal- analyzation. But now it's just. Yeah. Like was Shaq, Dunk- was Duncan play. better than Akeem? That's a damn good one. But I'm a, two different positions. I... But How? I don't know. That's a hey, pretty close that, position. That is going, boy. Yeah, pretty close. Position. How would Barnett answer that? I'd have to go with Duncan, but no. Who's got more hardware? Duncan. No. Nope. Uh, sorry, Stein. He didn't think you were going to read that <laughs> one. <laughs> That's how you kill him when you read it. Uh, see, I, I, you know, I'm trying to not to take myself too seriously. Frank's in San Jose. We got Frank back. What's up, Frank? Hey guys. Sorry about that. Hey, listen. I just want to say about Draymond Green, less so about Klay Thompson, but about Draymond Green. I do not believe the Warriors or Steph Curry wins their championships without Draymond Green and his defense. Every time that man's out, we see what he means to this team. And so to call him a hangers-on is not really appropriate. The way it, it, to me, 
the statue should be Clay, Steph, and Draymond, one statue together. Appreciate the, the call. I'm... Appreciate it. Hey, hey, Frank, you know, I mean, obviously. Niners did that Hanger, with Dwight like, Montana. See, I use hangers on as a way yeah. to emphasize a point. Not, do I really think Dre's a hanger on? No, he's v- instrumental. With the, and I have always said, do the Warriors win? Do they get four titles without Draymond? No. But let's put the rat on the table. There's levels to this. I've never heard you talk and like Steph wow. Curry is above Clay and Draymond. Let's not, as the kids say, get it twisted. Oh, there's no nobody so would argue let's just that. Th- well, then, but this era has produced four, right? And wh- what's chips. the biggest reason? And three of the guys are headed to the what's hall. What's the bri- what's the oh, biggest? Steph Curry. Re- okay, there it is. It's it. You can't can't build three statues. 